Welcome back everybody. Today we're going over this little bag that you see here. Kind of a good easy quick and go bag that you could use in the case of emergency. You could also use it, in my opinion, one thing I thought of is just sort of as uh, something that you could leave in your trunk, especially if you have a truck gun like this little pistol here. Um, put a few mags in there, lots of medical supplies. We'll get into some other uses of it uh, once we step inside. Coming up next. Before getting into the details of this bag, one thing I want to point out that's going to be important to most of you guys is going to be the price. This bag sells and retails for $28. So there's a link in the description below too, for obviously if you guys want to go ahead and check this out. But for $28, you're going to get everything we're going to talk about here. So let's start talking about it. First off, up front here, in the front of the bag, obviously it's space for two AR pouches. I chose two random size ones, both the uh, Tango Down, which is a relatively large one, fits in there just fine as well as the Lancer mags fit in there just fine. P mags, uh, USGI mags also fit in there just fine. I was able to put AK-74 mags in there as well for those uh, folks out there who are interested. So that's the front two pouches there. Go ahead and put your AR mags in there or AK-74 pouches. And then we'll talk about the inside here. So on the inside, you have a lot of space and we'll kind of get into that here. Um, Another mag in there in case you want to keep extras. I also randomly threw some Glock 21 mags in there. To give you an idea maybe of what you want to stick in there. And I put an eye back in there as well. It's for your medical supplies, whatever you may want to carry. You know, this is just your standard old eye back here. Some tape, gloves, gauze, uh, NPA, etc. So all that stuff's there, fits in there just fine. So obviously you could set it up however you want. It's virtually limitless. But we'll show you the inside of the bag here too. We'll move this off the side and show you some of the details of where I was actually sticking all that stuff. Um, so here we have uh, pouches on each side. So depending on what you want to stick in there, I use the mags in there. Also, there is webbing in there as well. So if you want to actually kind of put something uh, webbed into there so that way it stays in place, you can do that. It is elastic webbing as well. So. You can stick something that's a little bit larger and it will hold it down, hold it in place, and stop it from moving around. So that's what you get there on the inside. Plenty of room in there, depending on how you want to set it up. What you'll notice here that uh, there are metal clips, which is where your little sling or whatever you want to call it sticks on there. I believe they probably call it a strap, but it is metal on metal connections there. Uh, that entire thing is made of 1,000. Uh, denier Cordera, so extremely, extremely durable stuff. Uh, the 1,000 weight is a little bit heavy. However, the entire thing with the buckles and the strap and everything comes in uh, right around 1.5 pounds, so not that heavy as well, at least until you start loading it up. Um, and it's all, like I said, made in the U.S., $28, really, for what it is. I think it's a, a pretty good value. Additionally, one thing I left out here that I just saw on the back is this... Uh, belt loop here. It's a quick attach belt loop so you can take the straps off and use it just on your belt if you want to. And the quick attach part is obviously the belt right there. So that way you don't have to take your belt off if you want to take it on and off. I know a lot of you out there are what they call preppers and uh, really into preparedness or even in this scenario it could be kind of a home defense kind of kit. Um, I see it being very useful in a variety of roles like I mentioned earlier. If you have a truck gun something like that. You can carry all that in there. I think it'd be an excellent uh, use for law enforcement officers as well to keep in their truck. trunk. Excuse me. A lot of those folks, uh, those officers are carrying ARs these days, so be able to put your uh, mags in there as well as some medical equipment that you might need. You just leave it in the trunk or really next to wherever your rifle is depending on your uh, your department. I think there's a, a good potential for use there and like I said it's only $28 so at least as of right now as of 2014 anyway. Who knows they may go up in price after this video comes out but um not a whole lot bad to say about it. It fits a good uh, niche and uh, it works as designed. If you guys have any questions about this bag or anything else I review here on the channel you can always post below in the comment section. You can also post over at my Facebook page as always but thanks for watching guys. Thanks for subscribing and I hope to see you in the next video.